Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be creating a multiple upload form. We're not going to be handling the file upload in the background, uh, for example, in PHP. However, what we are going to be doing is creating something like this. Now, you'll notice that when we come onto the page, we just have a um, an input type uh, of file where we can choose a, a particular file that we want to upload to a server. Uh, we then have an upload button which processes this. Just to quickly note beforehand, I've changed the form action to get as opposed to post, uh, and this is just to demonstrate in the URL uh, the uh, files uh, that are sent with this. Now we also have an add more button and what this does is it adds different um, or adds an, an additional uh, form or file field to our page. So what we can do is we can add as many uh, field, form, uh, as many file input types as we want uh, and we can go ahead and select particular files here. For example, I'm selecting three different files uh, from the use of pressing add more. When I go to upload, you can see that all these files have their own uh, ID, for example, or their own name. File 1 was berlin.jpg, file 2 is tartan.jpg, and file 3 was index.php. Uh, so you could then submit the form. At the moment, this just comes back to the, uh, to the main page. But obviously, you could go ahead and submit it to... Um, a PHP file or however you uh, choose to process files. So this is a really useful tool to be able to allow your users to add as many uh, files as they want to actually upload. So we're going to be going ahead and looking at the code uh, behind this. It's extremely easily but the first thing we're going to do is jump over to our text editor and set up our initial form. Okay, so we're over to our text editor. Let's go ahead and start setting up this form and see what we need to put in and what we don't need to put in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the form action uh, to be get so we can see what's going on in the URL bar. Uh, usually this would be post if you're actually sending files, uh, but for testing purposes we're going to change this to get. Uh, the method, sorry, the action is not get, the action is hash. The method, which I was just talking about, would be get. Uh, and we also have this enc type that you would, you would usually send with the form, uh, which is multi-part slash form data. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put that in, even though it's not relevant to the tutorial. Now we need to, uh, we can, what we can do is we can put the initial f uh, form field in here, so the initial file input in here and I'm going to do that in paragraph tags so we can go ahead and put input type of file and that's all we need to do there and then underneath we can go ahead and I'm just going to create a block of paragraphs and the first thing I'm going to write is the submit button so that's type of submit and the value of this can just be upload and then below this I'm going to create a link uh, and that's to add more so uh, let's go ahead and modify that so uh, this will be add more uh, and this uh, the link here will be or the uh, href will be hash now we need to go ahead and give this an id and i'm just going to call this add underscore more so let's go over to our browser and preview what we've done we've essentially just set up a normal form that you probably would do when uploading a file but we've added this add more link which will add uh, additional form fields uh, with these new names you'll notice that you'll need to dynamically generate uh, the uh, new file uh, name for example uh, over here with the type of file the initial name would be file one then as we add uh, more form fields we're going to want these to be called uh, let's just go and give you an example we want these to be called file 2 and then we might want them to go ahead and the next one well we will want it to be called file 3 so we're going to need a way to work out how many files are currently uh, you know on the how many f you know file input types are on the page at the current time and we can do that easily with uh, jQuery selectors and using the length function Okay, so now that we've set up our initial form, uh, let's go ahead and look at the actual jQuery code associated with this. Uh, I'm going to actually give this form an ID, uh, and I'm just going to call this file upload for now. So what essentially what we want to do is when this add more link is clicked, we want to go ahead and uh, prepend uh, another file input type uh, on top of this one, so it'll always appear at the top. Uh, and this will be prepended to the file upload form. So nothing's changed in the uh, design. I've just given them IDs so we can reference them. 
Now we have this ext.js file which we're going to be working in. Uh, we're not going to write anything else in this file. That's uh, exactly how we need it, uh, and we can handle the rest in jQuery uh, using our selectors, uh, event handlers, etc. So inside ext.js, we want to go ahead and first of all wait till the document is ready, and we'll go ahead and outline our function in here. Bring these down, and we can start to write our code. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and ensure that we uh, supply an event handler for the add more link. Remember we created this add more link here and that had the ID of add more. So what we first of all want to do is select add more and apply the click handler to this. So every time the link is clicked, the function inside here executes and we can again go and bring that down. So now we need to retrieve the amount of form fields that are currently on the page or sorry the amount of uh, file fields that are that are currently on the page so I'm going to go ahead and say var current file uh, or current count would be more appropriate I think and we want to go ahead and use a jQuery selector to select all the file types uh, on the page uh, you can go ahead and make this with all the form uh, fields inside of this form but I'll leave that out in this tutorial so if you want to go ahead and do that in your own time you can do. Uh, however if you just had this form field on a page it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter.